Now, from the makers of Coldwater Omo, John Steed was sure the answer to the case could only be found by following up on the clue of the empty envelopes. This had taken him, later that day, to the training college of the Anastasia Nurses Academy. Steed had managed to get into the building all right. He started his investigations from the matron's office, and it was there that he'd heard the strange sound of typing. Shorthand typing at a nurse's training college? And in the evening... Steed opened another door and found himself staring at rows of girls typing furiously. They were addressing envelopes and throwing them into delivery baskets. Steed closed the door. Curiouser, curiouser. Yes, like Alice in Wonderland. I wonder what matron Alice can tell us. The Avengers. John Steed and Emma Peel, The Avengers. Episode 4 of this story, in which John Seed, still unable to find Mrs. Peel and baffled by the evidence to hand, nevertheless believes a few fresh clues are not to be sneezed at. John Steed, placing his umbrella and bowler on the hat stand in Matron's office, slipped on a special pair of gloves. He decided to risk turning on the light on the desk and started to make a thorough search of the room. Telephone directories. Hundreds of them. New York, Barcelona, San Francisco, Adelaide. <laughs> All over the world. Files. <laughs> Correspondence to be answered. Strange, there's nothing medical. What's this? From Colonel Morris Timothy, retired. Walsingham House. Dear Matron Alice, glad to know our plans are going ahead without a hitch. Keep up the good work. Victory, final victory. That is the aim and it lies just ahead. Sincerely, Morris Timothy. Colonel, retired. Hmm. Colonel Morris Timothy. Now, I've heard that name somewhere before. And still not a clue about Mrs. Peel. Where the devil has she got herself to? Mrs. Peel, at that moment, was asking herself very much the same question. She knew she was in some sort of cell. It contained a bed on which she was lying, feeling rather sick. There were also several sacks leaning against the walls. As Emma Peel sat up holding her head, the heavy door was unlocked and swung open. The man called Priest entered. Ah, so you've come round. Got a tiny headache, have we? Oh, no. We're just a tiny bit homesick. Tell me a little more about home. Where is it and who are you working for? I'm not, not working for anyone. Come now, you must see that we mean business. There are ways. I can't. Now, that won't do any good. No, but this might... Mr. <laughs> Mrs. Peel was really doing quite well, but unfortunately Dexter appeared in the door of the cell. He held two items, in his left hand a straitjacket, in his right a rather ugly cosh. Oh! Thank you, Dexter. Yes, if you want to play games, little lady, then we must give you a copy of the rules. A straight jacket, Dexter, and then find Matron. She has work to do. This girl has got to be made to talk.
John Steed, meanwhile, had gone for a drive. Mother wasn't too pleased to see him. It was getting late, and there was still other work to be done. Well, what is it this time, Steed? Mm. What have we got on Timothy? Oh, Steed. Yes, Mother? How long have you been in the department? Oh, I don't know. Quite a few years, I suppose. Then you must know by now that we don't fire personnel under their Christian names. Uh, this is a surname. Colonel Morris Timothy, retired of Walsingham House. He's clean. You sure? It's my job to be sure. Morris Timothy, Indian Army, served in two wars. The two world wars, that is. Not just frontier stuff. Wealthy. Something of a philanthropist. A bit kinky. Endows various worthy causes, including... Mm. Including the Anastasia Academy? Yes. Ah. I think I'd better pay Colonel Timothy a visit. Any news of Mrs. Peel? Not yet. I'm worried. But you know what they say. No news is good news. Yes. Good night, Mother. Walsingham House, residence of Colonel Timothy, retired was large, old, and rambling. The sort of house that could have been converted into a private nursing home. Steed rang the bell, and receiving no answer, tried the door. To his surprise, it opened. The hall, marble-floored and richly panelled, was furnished with antiques. Three large crates struck an incongruous note. Steed lifted the top of one of them with his umbrella. Hmm. Full of handkerchiefs. And the next? Paper tissues. Curiosity, sir, was responsible for the demise of the cat. Ah, not to worry, I have eight lives left. My advice would be not to throw them away too easily. Ah, but cats don't listen to advice. They walk alone. But that's why so many of them get lost, sir. Have the goodness to remove your coat and roll up your shirt sleeves. What? Fisticuffs? Antibiotic injection. Colonel's orders. No visitor allowed in without it. You are a visitor. A steed. Now, I phoned. Uh, perhaps I should have also brought my health certificate. Uh, wouldn't have been of any use, sir. But the colonel insists on his own form of protection. Uh, against what? Other people's germs. You see, he has enough of his own to contend with. Ah, infection prone, eh? Ever since he came back from Mandea, no resistance to Western bacteria. Uh, this won't hurt, sir. <clears throat> now. Hmm. You'll handle that like a connoisseur. Practice makes perfect. Colonel Timothy will see you now. This way, Mr. Steed. Mr. Steed, sir. Oh, come in, Steed, come in. <laughs> oh, Thank you me. know that the only creatures who get colds are human beings and chimpanzees. Amazing. Oh, excuse me, kettle's boiling. I've got to have me inhalation, you know. Can I uh, assist? Uh, better not get too near. Uh, pour the boiling water into that bowl, that's a good fellow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Now, now the crystals. Yeah, that's better. Towel over the head. Only take a minute. You know, there's a lesson to be learned from all this. I beg your pardon? A lesson to be learned from the chimpanzees. Oh, safer to walk on all fours. No, 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 no. The more civilized you are, the more susceptible. Disease of the sophisticated. Got it in one. It, 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 it. it it's yes? Yes! Oh, oh, it's so good. Uh, ever thought of going to Malaya? Well, I... Don't, uh, don't. Dreadful place. Have a look at that. Early Etruscan. Not the container. It's what it's got inside. Common cold virus. Preserved at minus 16 degrees centigrade in dry ice. Is that so? Should I have known? Uh, what was it you wanted to speak to me about? Uh, my card. Uh, Steed Foundation. Never heard of it. Well... Nothing to be ashamed of. I assume that you've never had a serious illness in Mozambique. Eh? You must be clairvoyant. We've endowed three hospitals there. Eh. Now we're founding a nurse's training college to start them. 
And as you have helped endow the Anastasia Academy... You uh, want my advice? Please. My advice is don't. More trouble than they're worth. But the Anastasia Academy... Never go near a place boring, excruciatingly boring. Now, if you want to see really something interesting, let me show you over the rest of the place. Oh, oh. That's you. Uh, what? Uh, oh, yes, yes. Well, this way. The colonel led the way from the room down some steps and pushing open steel doors, revealed that the rest of the house was a form of nursing home. Three C's. Uh, do they stand for competence, comfort, and compassion? Well, no, 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 no. That's the other dreary place we were talking about. Cold Cure Clinic. Yes, my pet project. Decided if the medical profession couldn't cure my cold, then I'd do it myself. No! <laughs> oh, there's not much luck so far. Well, I'd like to look around. Well, there's nothing I should like better. Uh, these things take time, you know. Glover! Uh, come in. Well, Dr. Glover, my chief of research. Frank, this is Mr. Steed of the Steed Foundation. Good evening. <laughs> Sounds impressive, Mr. Steed. Well, only if one comes from Mozambique. Steed branches out. Thought we might put him in the picture. I'll show him the uh, shop window, as it were. Oh, a prospective helper. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, this way, Mr. Steed. Tell me, what are all these small rooms leading off the corridors for? Guinea pig quarters. Student volunteers. We give them artificially induced colds and then house them in pairs so that we can compare their reactions. How are the colds induced? Well, first we give them a session in the deep freeze room. Perhaps you'd like to see it. This way. Good evening, Doctor. Oh, oh, evening, nurse. Evening. Yes. Steed didn't react, but he did notice that the badge on the nurse's uniform read Anastasia Academy. The Avengers. Listen every evening, Monday to Friday, to John Steed and Emma Peel, The Avengers. Brought to you by the makers of Cold Water Omen. The Avengers. Donald Monat as John Steed and Diane Appleby as Emma Peel is adapted and directed by Dennis Falbig and produced by David Gooden.